Hey everyone, I have a quick word to share today. And today's word is you're cracking the code. You're cracking the code. And this word isn't for everybody, so please take it to the Lord for confirmation and always test the spirit behind every prophetic word, including mine. But if this message is for you, you are cracking the code in this hour. And what does that mean to crack the code? Well, I looked it up and it says, um, according to the free dictionary.com, it's an idiom and it says to decipher some coded message or information or number two, to discover a solution to a particularly difficult or complicated problem. So here's the thing though, it's really not difficult. It's just following biblical principles, following God's systems and models, and actually doing them, being obedient. <laughs> That's how you crack the code. A lot of people read the Bible, but they don't put it into action. They don't uh, move forward in faith. You know, faith without works is dead, but you're moving forward. You're actually stepping out in faith. Many of you have jumped out of a plane. That's another word that I released probably like a year ago about just jumping out of the plane without a parachute, knowing the Lord is going to catch you. You need to completely rely on him as your source. And when you lose your life, you find it in him. When you stop looking to everyone around you to provide for you, to take care of you, to give you direction in your life. And you look to God. And not only do you look to God through prayer, through reading your Bible, but he speaks to you. He, the Holy Spirit speaks to you, gives you divine instruction, and you follow it. That's how you crack the code. And you guys, I can speak to this because I've been through this. You know, the Lord has done such amazing things in my life because I was just seeking him first. Seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added to you. You know, you got to do what the Lord called you to do, even when it's not easy. It was not an easy decision to move to the Dominican Republic, but the Lord called me here. He sent me here on assignment and I was obedient, even though inside i was really kind of terrified about it i'm not gonna lie but i move forward and because i was obedient the lord has blessed me he's been increasing this youtube channel i didn't want to start this youtube channel but i was obedient the lord called me to do it he processed me for this assignment and i followed through and i did what he asked me to do and now in a little over a year the channel has gone from six subscribers to more than twenty-seven thousand. And he's taking care of everything in my life. All the messes that I made in my life leading up to this point, once I completely submitted to him, he started course correcting different things in my life. He started cleaning up messes I'd made along the way. And he wants to do that for you too. And if this message is for you, you're moving forward in whatever he's called you to do. You're not listening to the people around you. And you're going to be blessed for your obedience. And that's actually the first scripture reference today is Deuteronomy 28, 11 through 13. The Lord will give you prosperity in the land he swore to your ancestors to give you, blessing you with many children, numerous livestock, and abundant crops. The Lord will send rain at the proper time from his rich treasury in the heavens and will bless all the work you do. You will lend to many nations, but you will never need to borrow from them. If you listen to these commands of the Lord your God that I'm giving you today, and if you carefully obey them, the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You will always be on top and never at the bottom. And recently, the Lord called me to open my own real estate company. So again, it's just, the I just keep following what he tells me to do. And I don't know the next 10 steps. I don't know how it's all going to work out. But I trust him and he's asked me to give certain things up. He's asked me to give up certain people. Even, you know, he asked me to give up my real estate license in Las Vegas. And I was always planning to keep that active, even if it was just for referral business or for my own transactions. But the Lord called me 
to let it go at the end of June. And I didn't understand why. And then he led me to open my own real estate company because he wants me to be the head and not the tail. He wants me to be the lender and not the borrower. And so, you know, I'm just being obedient to what he's calling me to do. And I'm going to have more exciting news about that as well. The name of the company is Covenant Realty. It's in the Dominican Republic. It's a registered business here in the Dominican Republic. And I'm going to have opportunities for you guys to come down here and look at real estate. Uh, if that's something you think you might be interested in. in, you know, this passage also talks about, um, the Lord giving you prosperity in the land. He swore to you, giving you numerous livestock and abundant crops. The other great thing down here is the agriculture. There's so much great agriculture land down here and it's really inexpensive. So I know the Lord's been calling me to, I'm not there yet. I'm not in a place where I can do that, but eventually, you know, I'm going to buy farmland here and I'm going to grow my own crops and I'm going to feed hungry people with it. There's a lot of hungry people in this country. And if I can, you know, do something to help the people in this country, I'm going to do it. So this is how you allow the Lord to use you. You just give, totally submit yourself. You give up your will. You align your soul realm, your mind, your will, your emotions with the Holy Spirit. And you just do what the Lord calls you to do. And many of you, if this message is for you, you're doing that in this hour. And because of that, the Lord has set an open door before you that no one can close. And it, it's leading to so many beautiful blessings in your life. And that's actually the next scripture reference, Revelation 3, 8. I know all the things you do, and I've opened a door for you that no one can close. You have little strength, yet you obeyed my word and did not deny me. So keep moving forward. I know it's not easy. The enemy's going to come for you when you step into your purpose. He really doesn't want to lose territory. He pulls out all the stops. He doesn't want you fruitful for the kingdom of God. But you're chosen for such a time as this. So keep moving forward all you esters out there <laughs> all you king davids i know there's josephs we have so many anointed people who watch this channel so just keep moving forward and remind the enemy of his place under your feet don't let him steal your joy in this hour and just keep pushing forward no matter what there's no turning back at this point so i don't know who this message is for today please take it to the lord for confirmation if you feel the holy spirit leading you to sow into this message i encourage you to do so i pray over every seed that the lord will increase it a thousand fold i pray for all of you who receive these messages that the right people receive them at the right time i pray the lord continue to to go before you follow behind you leading you into his perfect will for your lives if you guys haven't followed me on facebook instagram tiktok uh x formerly known as twitter i upload daily content on those platforms as well i've got them all linked in the description i would love to see you over there all of you in the membership program i'll see you guys wednesday night at 6 p.m eastern time for our live bible study and prophetic flow if you'd like to get in on that, hashtag Team Jesus, that's the name of our membership group. Just click the join button for a $20 monthly seed. You'll have uh, access to those Wednesday night live streams and all the previous episodes and replay. So I hope to see you there. All of you who continue to support the channel through your prayers, through financial partnership, I really couldn't do this without you. So thank you so much for allowing the Lord to use you in that way. You guys bless me so much in so many different ways. And all of you who support the content through subscribing, hitting the notification bell, liking, commenting, sharing with a friend. You guys are all supporting what the Lord is doing in and through me. You're making sure that content uh, gets in the YouTube al algorithm. If this message is for you, get in the comments and say, I'm cracking the code. I'm cracking the code. And if you haven't yet subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that when the Lord calls me to do public lives, you get notified so you can get in on those. And just know that I love you all so much with the love of Christ and stay blessed.